Hello. In December, today is December 18, in a forest around Kyoto, there are many bright spots. These bright spots are fruits. Fruits which are ready to be distributed. Logically, if they are bright, they are supposed to be distributed with animals. And in each case, the adaptation for animal distribution and features of the fruit is very different. So, for example, you can see around here the winter persimmon. So, wild persimmon has fruits only slightly smaller than fruits of the normal persimmon, which you can buy in the stores. So, that's one of winter persimmons. And it sits on the branches of tree and almost never ever fall down. So, the distribution of persimmon is quite different from distribution of apple. I think that main idea is that after the leaf fall, the fruits start to be so well visible that birds will recognize them and that juicy content which is inside the fruit will allow birds to eat it and take seeds out. So that was a person. The second interesting plant is a katsura. Katsura vine, very funny genus of extremely ancestral flowering plant line and fruits of it are very similar to raspberries but much larger and the main difference from raspberries is that some fruitlets are undeveloped that's a signature of ancient origin of that group so it's not yet adapted flowers to be equally pollinated and fertilized some fruits are not developing well like in a gymnosperm some seeds are not fertilized and the plant which i'm holding so from the distance it looks like there are fruits of that green plant but this is every and this is completely non-similar to every it's slightly spiny and deciduous and of course this is a vine vine which claims different shrubs and trees and then on reaching some particular height it will present bright yellow fruits that plant probably very known to people who see it in the east coast of north america this is celastros celastros native to japan but being invasive in many places of europe and united states celastros belongs to its own celastraceae family and the life form is called the strangler's vine so it's kind of dead end stranglers so they don't use that ability to like strangler to kill the trees for any good so they simply claim up they have woody stems that stem will grow the tree stem will grow and then who is first so very frequently the vine is first and it will break the stem of the supported tree and tree will die and then vine also will go down so it's not a very good thing at all but anyway so they climb the plant and hope for the best and then they present the fruits so on december 18 you can see how fruits of these plants are constructed Clo very close to evonimus fruits are opening and then present bright seeds so that's next way of the presentation of the fruits for animal distribution the contrast between fruit envelope and seed color and seed color is not exactly the seed coat it's areolus kind of additional envelope which surrounds the seed and the main function is to provide that particularly very visible bright orange coloration so three different ways of animal distribution are visible in a Japanese forest in the middle of December. Thank you very much.